Hi, welcome back to the channel. In our last lesson, we dealt with circular motion. But in this lesson, we will continue with conical pendulum. We will see how to determine the speed of the body. We will see how to determine the speed of the pendulum and also how to calculate its period. And at the end of this, we will use an example to demonstrate how to solve questions relating to conical pendulum. That said, let's get started. Now, if I have a, a pendulum and the pendulum is attached to a string, here is my pendulum. When my pendulum begins to swing, if I begin to swing my pendulum, it will form a circular motion. It will move in a circular path. But there's something I want you to understand. The string also has a tension. The pendulum has a weight. And let's call that weight of the pendulum mg. The string is actually attached at an angle so that the tension in this string can be resolved to both the x and the y axis. If you missed our lessons where we talked about resolution of vectors, please do look in the description below. We will place a link to that lesson. Here, that's tension. My tension can be resolved to both y axis, let's call that the ty, and can also be resolved to the what? The x axis, let's call that tx. Remember, I said that this string would actually have made an angle theta with the vertical. With the vertical. Now, if I have to draw this out, here is the attachment of let's this is the attachment of of the string here is the pendulum here is the weight of the pendulum mg and also here is tension t now one remarkable thing again i want you to observe with this pendulum is that this pendulum will also have reactions that is equal and opposite to what to his weight it has reaction that is equal and that's the same thing as what as your t your ty now the tx here will also be the same thing, will also be equal to the force that is attracting this pendulum to the center of this circle. And that force is the centripetal, the centripetal force. So why the Ty, my Ty, is the same thing as Mg because of equal and opposite reaction, my Tx of the string is the same thing as all the centripetal force. From our last lesson, we said that our trans centripetal force is equal to M v squared over over r now still from the string let's still go back to the string you observe that the string is going to form a right angled triangle this way such that what i have here is still my theta though here is a tension in the string but the string has a length let's call the length of this string let's call it l and here obviously from this point to this point that's it from the center to the pendulum that's the radius of that circle Let's call that R. Now let's go back to uh, Ty and Tx. From, if I'm resolving this force, my Ty, if I'm resolving this force, my Ty should be the same thing as T cos theta. And my Tx should be the same thing as T sine theta. So that T cos sine theta over T cos theta will now be the same thing as m v squared over r all divided by mg. Now, that is t definitely cancels t here. Sin theta over cos theta is the same thing as tan theta. So that tan theta is equals to m v squared over r times 1 over mg. m here is 1, m here is 1. So that tan theta is the same thing as v squared v squared over r g now i'm trying to what where am i driving to i'm actually driving to the velocity of the pendulum so that i'm going to make v the subject of the formula let's cross multiply this is the same tan theta is over one so this becomes v squared is the same thing as r g tan theta so that v now is equal to the square root of r g tan theta now with this we've seen that v which is the velocity of the pendulum the velocity of the body the velocity of the pendulum that is being that is being swing is equals to the square root of r g tan tan theta now for the period of motion remember we have we have our string this way 
and we have a pendulum moving in a circular motion. The time taken for this pendulum to move a total circle is called one period. That is time t. That's the period. Here is a period of motion. Now, this period has actually been covered. This time t was used to cover one complete circle. And one complete circle is the same thing as 2 pi r. So that we could conclude that the velocity, the velocity is the same thing as distance covered over time. That's 2 pi r over time t. And this same period, this same velocity is the same thing as the square root of r g sine tan theta. r g tan theta. Square root of r g tan theta. Now, we're going to make the period a subject of formula. So that if I cross multiply, t now becomes 2 pi r over square root of r g tan theta. So that if 2, if t is equal to the square root of r g tan theta, now look at this carefully. Now, we have r here. r is under the square root. r is here. Now, the r that is on top here, r is the same thing as this that is the square root r all raised to power 2. Now that is c now can now be fully expressed as 2 pi square root of r all over g tan theta. So with that you can say t is equal to the square root of r 2 pi is t is equal to 2 pi the square root of r over g tan tan theta now if you come remember we 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 remember i said initially that r the tension here the 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 the, the twine used to hold the pendulum has a length l and here i have r which is so obviously from this right angle triangle, we can deduce that T, there's a theta there, we can deduce that R again is equal to L sine theta. Now if R is equal to L sine theta, in place of R, I can substitute L sine theta so that T now will be equal to 2 pi square root of L sine theta over g tan theta over g tan theta so that if remember that tan theta is the same thing as sine theta over cos theta so that this is 2 pi the square root of l sine theta over g times this is 1 over tan theta so that this is same thing as it becomes 2 pi the square root of L sine theta over G times cos theta over sine theta. Sine cancels sine. So I'm left with T now to be equals to 2 pi 2 pi the square root of L cos theta over over g now with this we have seen that the period of the pendulum can be calculated as 2 pi l cos theta square root of l cos theta over over g while our velocity our velocity can be calculated from the square root of r g tan tan theta now let's take our work test our pendulum our question says a pendulum of mass 2 kg now here is a pendulum, it has a mass of what? 2 kg. And it's going to move in this circular part. It has R. The is attached to a string. The string is of length L. And the radius R here is what? Is 50 cm. The string is length L as 1 meter. Now, Let's let's take the details down. The length L is equal to 1 meter. The radius R is equal to 5 centimeter, which is the same thing as 0 0.5, 0 
meters. Now from here, you can, we have to calculate the period of motion. The 2 pi square root of L cos theta over, over G. Now, T now will be equals to 2 pi square root of L. My L here is 1. Now, from this triangle, you can deduce your cos theta. And my cos theta from that triangle is the same thing as 0 0.9987 over G. G is 10. G is 10. Now, if you put this together, you have T now to be equals to, for my calculator, to be equals to 1.99 meters. Which uh, 1.99 seconds, sorry. Which is approximately 2 seconds will come from mg over cos theta so that that is equal to my m is 2 kg m times g of 10 over cos theta the cos theta again is 0 0.9987 which is the same thing as from calculator you have that to be 20 newtons 20.03 newtons approximately 20 newtons if you have any question please let's use our comment section will be there to respond to you. Thank you for staying with us and do have a nice time.